Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is going to be a video covering the Moondrop Aria 2. Of course, a successor to the Moondrop Aria, also a single dynamic driver, and in a pretty good package for under $100. On this channel, we focus on competitive gaming, whether or not an audio product, a mouse, etc., can provide a benefit. Do I play better? Do I stay the same? Do I get worse? And on this channel, we have a Wallhack certified tier list, one that I'm fairly proud of. We've received a lot of good feedback from, uh, and that other reviewers have even come and uh, taken trust in those recommendations. I'm, I'm proud of that. And I've always relied on audio. I have a history of being a, a professional North American CS player during 1.3 to 1.6. I was on several Cal Invite teams. I have spent four to five years of my youth eating, breathing, sleeping, Counter-Strike. Um, and I'm proud of that history, and I'm proud of what I've accomplished in CS uh, and what I've continued to accomplish in things like Apex and hitting Predator uh, and continuing to hit Masters. I've, I've slowed down the Predator grind now that I've had a child, um, and I am focusing on YouTube. Now, the Moondrop Aria 2, uh, again, this review will focus on whether or not the competitive features are there uh, for this value and how it compares to other things on the Wallhack certified tier list. I do want to start though and at least show you guys the package, the value, what you're getting here for your money. Let's take a look. What I would point out here is I actually really like the cable. It is a braided cable and feels really good. It's not too heavy and it feels high quality. So it doesn't really get tangled a whole lot and it just feels quite uh, sturdy. In terms of what I really like about the cable is it does have a removable termination. So you can change this from a 3.5 to a 4.4. It just pops on and then you screw it. So you can use it unbalanced or balanced depending on your amp DAC. The IEM itself actually feels quite good. It's a alloy uh, chassis. It does have a brass nozzle, and the cool thing is the nozzle actually does detach. So if you ever have to change out the filter, um, kind of a interesting system there with the removable tip on the nozzle. Overall, the IEM is pretty well vented and has a pretty good aesthetic to it mixed with the silver cable. In terms of the um, contents of the box, you don't get a whole lot other than that nice cable, you do get a carrying case. The carrying case feels kind of cheap, but hey, at least you get one. And then you do have a packet of the silicone ear tips and of course the other termination here for uh, if you wanna swap it to 4.4 from 3.5. So all in all, a pretty nice package and one that feels pretty good quality for this price range. And I did just wanna let you guys know, I do have the tools now to plot out my own graphs. Um, I will be utilizing this one in this video, you guys can see. And I'm still calibrating this. I'm new to the program, new to the tools. Um, so keep in mind, I still need to fine tune things, calibrate things, but at least the flow of the graph seems similar to other things that I've seen in the areas of the peaks and the curves. Um, it is a very neutral IEM. It's not massively sub bass boosted or mid bass boosted. You have a slight dip into the mids and then a pretty good uh, incline into the upper mids. Now, I don't find this to be a bass heavy IEM. Again, I don't find it to be bass boosted. It, it just feels like a neutral IEM. And that tuning actually does, and I'll throw up some clips here, um, but that tuning does feel somewhat good in Valorant because the uh, Vandal's not overpowering, the Operator's not overpowering, the Sheriff's not overpowering the other frequencies. And those are big, boomy things that really do resonate in-game. Um, one of the things, though, that's very important in Valorant is, of course, depth perception. And not just in front of me or behind me, but in a 360-degree space, how far over is somebody? Now, the Moondrop Aria 2, you get good imaging, um, you know, is somebody on my left? Is somebody on my right? Is somebody diagonal? Is somebody, you know, not? Um, but the depth perception, meaning when I am getting ready to peak, how far exactly is somebody? What obstacle are they close to in the site? Not just generally where they are, um, but exactly where they are. How far in front of me are they? And again, very important because that just increases your crosshair placement anticipation. It helps you 
determine in your head what the most urgent threat is. For instance, if I'm holding a angle on a uh, wall and I hear somebody shuffling, how close are they getting ready to peek? How far over are they? I need to know that and anticipate it in case I have somebody to my right that is also shuffling, which one is getting ready to peek my line of sight first? I need to know that so that I uh, deal with the most immediate and most urgent threat, especially in tag shooters where uh, more likely than not, uh, if you don't get it right, you can get one shot, particularly at a high level of play. So for things like tag shooters, it really, really makes a difference uh, in Valorant and CS2 and literally every other tag shooter I've, I've played. Um, you need to have that sense of where somebody is and how close they are to getting a line of sight on you. It helps crosshair placement, it helps anticipation, it helps the urgency um, and, and dealing with all of that. Now, when we get to CS2, just starting off with the tuning, I didn't like the tuning. Everything felt a little fatiguing. AK-47 shots across the map felt really bright, overly bright compared to other IEMs. Um, I didn't like that, and it, it just wasn't really a fun thing to listen to. But getting to the technicalities, I would say that the imaging is, of course, there, like it was in Valorant, but the depth perception is a little bit off. When somebody is uh, shuffling behind me or spawning behind me or jumping off of high ground, how far over are they as I'm peeking? I want to be able to have that assessment before I peek and before I have that line of sight. I want it to be as accurate as possible so that I have my crosshair placement prepared and ready to go uh, before that line of sight scenario. Um, the depth perception is off in CS2. Again, didn't like the tuning for CS2. And in CS, in comparison to Valorant, the separation wasn't nearly as good. The separation is actually quite poor, I felt, in CS2, and the verticality was off. So on Dust2, for instance, if I'm mid-doors, if somebody's catwalk, just felt just, just off. It just didn't feel accurate. So um, again, not something that I would necessarily recommend for uh, CS2 either. Getting to Apex, things get a little bit less worrisome with depth perception because in Apex Legends, you get that imaging, you get that sense of where somebody is, and generally um, Apex isn't something where you are in a position to get one shot. So that line of sight scenario, not as important because you have the ability to, uh, with movement, to micromanage your health. That's all a part of the game. Um, you're not just going to get one shot and then get sent back to the lobby. Um, in Apex Legends, they performed fairly good, um, but again, the separation fell off compared to other IEMs. The depth perception, not as clean, even though you still have that general sense and even though they're okay, again, it just could be better. Um, and the layering, the verticality, just not as good as other things on the Wallhack certified tier list. So unfortunately, the Moondrop Aria 2 is just missing a few too many of the marks for CS2, Valorant, and Apex. For that reason, um, I'm not gonna say that these aren't close uh, to being on a list, but um, they certainly just don't get into the scoring territory of being able to recommend these and put them on that Wallhack certified tier list. So that is going to be it for this one, guys. The Moondrop Aria 2, not bad, just not Wallhack certified. I have a lot more IEMs coming. I've got the Truth Ear Nova next and a few others. I really hope it helps. If it did, please leave a sub to the channel. I'll see you guys in the next review. Peace.